from from having him on this camera to being on this camera. <laughs> what a goon, dude. Gotta love him. So this is going to be DDD versus Sonic. It yeah. Should be. It should be. Technique plays like nine characters though, so we'll probably yeah. He he's got all all the Kirby characters and then Mega Man. I no, I would assume he's not going to go DDD. So I feel like Sonic versus DDD is just going to be like awful for DDD. Like he just gets outrun. Yeah, that could be that's how I feel like it. That, yeah, that's my I guess. Mean, his jab, his jab breaks up a lot of yeah. approaches from Sonic, but it looks like he is going to be with Mega Man here. That's what he's hovering right now. I mean, he's you know he's been grinding out his Mega Man for a long time now, and uh, probably like you know even though Sage is going to be right here, doesn't have his he headphone on right now, so I'll say he's probably the best Mega Man in Chicago. <laughs> um, he's got some really good setups. He's been practicing them a lot. Um, also, it's probably his like it's his zoning character basically. Yeah. Because, you know, Kirby, Meta Knight, don't, it's Meta Knight's a uh, rushdown character. Kirby's a kind of patient character. DDD's a heavy character who does massive damage. And then Mega Man's is just like, I don't know, I'll just sit back and shoot lemons at you. Lemons. <laughs> no, he's Hello? not going to go Sonic. No way. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, he actually might go DDD. Okay. Here. Like I said, I think I'm okay with this pick. I think he's got a lot of spacing tools. As you see, that melee has got some range on it. Oh, yeah, and I think, I mean, he, he, Sonic's going to die pretty e easily to stuff that he goes for. Right. Um, yeah, also, J Brock being uh, sponsored by RMU. So, uh, the uh, the college, I believe, he goes to. Oh, Robert Morris. Yeah, Robert Morris. Okay, okay. Robert okay. Morris University. Morris University. That's actually pretty cool that they offered to do that. Shout out to Robert Morris. Yeah, they uh, they're actually they're even like covering his venue and all that, so they're actually like full blown sponsoring him. Wow, that's awesome. Man. He's he's doing really well already. Like ninety five percent there, but just like that <laughs> throat affair. Yeah. Uh, one thing that like DD has over, I think I feel like it's like DD or Charizard are like the two biggest sluggers when it comes to just like I hit you and you take a lot of damage. Yeah. He's got some really good jab mix-ups. He's gonna hopefully download the fact that you know those last two jabs J Brock just jumped out of. Right. That just means a forward air. Right. That's all. That's all this game is, man. At, at mid to high level play, and even top level, especially top level play, you're doing nothing but adapting. Yeah. The whole game. You're gonna go uh, in with a play. Adapting and like coercing people to do what you what you want them to do. Right. And it's adapting to those coercions. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. that's that's the gain and matchup as well. We were just talking about yeah. that before it started. Uh, well, well, the hard part about spring when it comes to that kind of hit is it's so, it has such low hit stun. Uh, it's kind of hard to react to because you know when when it's longer hit stun, you get more of a window to attack. Right. Not when it comes to that move. So yeah, Jay Brock with a solid lead right now. But it's easy. To, he can just hammer you and you die. Some of the interesting that Jay Brock is doing right there, um, as a Sonic player, when you go and spin dash, uh, and you can like, when you hit their shield, you can start slowing down, right? Yeah. So when you slow down all the way in their shield, uh, you can just, I mean, roll back out, you know, go for a jab, go for a grab, but it's like they, they kind of have to soak up that shield damage because if they drop it, they're getting hit. Yeah. And so it's just a really good all-around play for, for newer Sonics out there listening to so run up in spin dash and just hit their shield. Hmm. And so it'll just slow you down automatically. You just, you just let go and stay. It, it's sort of what. Uh what Bowser Jr. can do as well, where right. Bowser Jr. is like called the, the dis a lot of people like to call it the Discount Sonic, where he just has the same kind of mix-ups but not quite as strong. But right now, J-Brock is in control. Technique has brought it down to one stock. Ooh. That's the and second J time J-Brock's done that there. Yeah, J-Brock does like to go for his downers. That's kind of a, 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 a kind of punishable habit that. It's kind of a weird thing to punish, though. Ooh, ooh. that almost killed. That did almost kill. He got, hit, he got hit by the hammer part, which is a lot. Of, ooh, okay, good DI. That was a really, really good trap there. Oh, okay. I, that's my favorite animation in like, the game. <laughs> Just, oh, oh, I got it. It's like badminton. <laughs> and. J Brock's in a kind of scary place because even though he does have the lead, one solid hit he has. Okay, he's not even gonna. I think Tech was going for a DI mix up there. He wanted to see if uh, J Brock would DI too far out. Tech 
and he did air dodge, but ooh, that's gonna kill there. Yeah, the downside of DD is even though he is the hardest character to kill vertically because of his weight, it's because of his fast fall speed that he die is hard to kill vertically. Horizontally, he's easier to kill than most of the other heavies because of his fast fall speed. Right. So let's see if it takes. I would assume like that was pretty close, and he also got gimped by the uh, the spring. So I would assume he's gonna stick with the character. Yep. Yeah. They didn't do a bad job in that game at all. Um, oh no, not at all. Yeah, had he, had he have just gotten in one more time, it would have been the game. Yeah, I wonder how he's going to adapt to all this, all these spin dashes. Looks like he's going to be playing a little bit more of a grounded game. These two are kind of in flowchart mode. Oh, oh the shield my break! My goodness, so much shield pressure. What's he going to do with it here? <laughs> he doesn't get enough. Much. I mean, yeah. uh, at that percent, Sonic, Sonic's not like the king of like massive damage output for right. like br burst damage output. So that's not too surprising. They didn't get too much off of it. When I said, when I, I mean, this is exactly in flowchart mode. If, <laughs> if uh, J Brock is able to get in and uh, land a spin dash, he's going to try to go that's for Wow, that is going to kill early. He's going to try to go for that spring, and if that is going to go for the down air, and, and uh, Technique so far really hasn't found an answer to any of those flowchart options. He's no. Said no to everything, and it always ends in back air. Yeah, it, it's, it's such a hard. Like button, because DG is so big that just all the hitboxes can hit him. Oh, J Brock going for a spring ride did not land. So like for tech, that could have killed. Maybe it is DG. And yeah, that's so dangerous. Technique likes to set up these walls with the uh, with the side be there from DDD, and it, all it takes is a neutral air or something like that to send it back. Just and, a uh, normal spin dash, right? Anything, back too. Yeah. See if there's that flow chart. It always ends in the down air. Yeah, if I, if I were technique, I'd I go for inhale after the after the air dodge, because that would that would beat out the down air. Just for personal experience. <sighs> Look at this. Yeah, it's, it's the flow chart. He tries to jump up to match it, and the spring hits him in the face. Yeah, and the it, spring misses it's the down air. I I think he's just uh, assuming that J Brock's not gonna do the spring, but it's been saving him a lot. I mean, all all, you, all the technique needs to do is get, get one kill, and I mean, DD does have some tools to bring it back, but it's really slipping away, away from technique. Oh, still up, take it, right take it. Face. J Brack is on fire with these with the spacing. Oh, that was an accident. I'm pretty sure that's just back here. Oh man. That was like the oh, mix-up. Oh man, that was like a mix-up. I don't think no Technique DI because of it. I don't think Technique knew what he was going for there. I don't even know what he was going for there. Well, because well, that was that. I don't think that was a place that you'd normally go for homing attack. No, he's been neutral airing in that exact position. And he, um, he kind of jumped ahead lot. of time, so like yeah. mentally it's just like, oh, he's gonna do neutral air, and then you see like the so you air dodge it, and then you just hear, oh wait, yeah. that was not that was a re, not a. Whoop. I mean, in, in a split second, homing attack and neutral air can look somewhat similar. Yeah. In a, in a split uh, second. The, you know. the split second.